Do you want to make some coins? It's really got this bad. I like setting these light challenges, you know, so I'm feeling a bit different today. Let's, uh, you know, let's try and hit the light bulb with your nose. Let's, I mean, you can do nose packs, right? See if you can do, see if you can do the light bulb with your nose. Let me know if you're successful in the comments. You should be subbed now. What the hell you doing, mate? Hit that little red button down there. Yeah, it's great. Just hit it now. Fifth or eight gets you late. Join the squad playing FIFA till my balls. Wait. What else rhymes with late? This whole rap thing, I'm really, really not that great. Maybe this is what starts all the bloody hate. Subscribe them, please, mate. What? Racking people! Oh! Welcome back to another video today by myself. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Welcome back to another video today, guys. I'm feeling really weird today. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's good when I'm doing these videos. Just want to say before we even get into the video, before we even get into FIFA, right? We need to, we need to hold this up. You guys have literally been smashing the channel recently. We hit thirty-six thousand, thousand subscribers. Like, thank you so much for the love, man. Honestly, I really do appreciate it. you guys are awesome. Um, and also, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A very soon. So, you know what that means? Drop us down some questions in the comment section below. I mean, I'm gonna be asking questions over the next few, few videos, and then when I've got enough. You know, we'll do one. But it can literally be anything, like, or ask me anything, like, skits, would you rather questions, things that I can make into a good video, okay? But welcome back to another video today, and of course, it's, you know, it's another, it's another coin method, because I know you guys love them. And, you know, I always want to hook you guys up with the best way to make coins, best investments, best coin glitches, best hacks. <laughs> just, I'm just awesome. Of course, if you big big update, if you want all this stuff FIFA 18, if you want coin glitches FIFA 18, you better hit that subscribe button right now. Also, I can't, I kind of messed up last video. I said there was a five pound Amazon gift card in there, which there was. The problem was my video didn't render properly, and like you guys missed like five minutes of my pack opening, which is just absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna put the gift card in this in this video again. Hopefully it works this time. Basically, a £5 Amazon gift card will be hidden in this video somewhere. You guys have to try and find it. It's only going to flash on the screen for a frame like that. And then, you're literally going to have to try and find a code. It's literally going to be in this video somewhere. So, you know, good luck, mate. Good luck. Of course, if you do win it, let me know in the description, man. Because, you know, not description, comment section. I want to know who won it, okay? I want to know who won my £5. I want to know who I'm giving my money to. But, yeah, let's see if we can hit 500 likes today. That would be insane. And, of course, subscribe can you. But, yeah, let's get into this. So, as you guys know, FIFA started... Oh, I thought he starts in five days. I can't wait. Oh, my... Ah, don't worry, my room's, not, my room's not turning. It's just my camera, okay? So, I thought he starts in five days. I literally can't wait for that. But more importantly, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some coins so you have coins ready for footies. Now, I'm really looking forward to footies. And the, the, the interesting thing is, this coin method kind of, kind of involves them. I, and my camera keeps turning now. I don't know what I've done. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you one way to make coins. I do have another way that's probably even better. So, you know, if you want to know that one, you need to get down in that comment section and tell me, Miles, I want more coin methods. And then I will, okay? You probably don't have to do it in that voice. So, boys, as you can see, 40 started five days. And you know what that means. Uh, EA, right? Look at this tweet right now. They said they're going to have squad building challenges, end of the year, SBCs, all that good stuff. And I honestly can't wait. But the interesting thing is, as you guys can see, there is no, literally no, no squad builders live right now. I mean... EA have kind of a, they, they, they played yourself. You played yourself, EA. I believe, and I, you know, I'm probably am right, because I normally get this stuff right. If you go over to Foot Champions right now, if you go over to Schedule, and if you hit, not that one, not that one. As you can see, this weekend, we, we get, well, not me, because I don't finish top 100, but the top 100 players get a top 100 best of October pack. Huh? I bet you're thinking, oh, yeah, but wait, October's... FIFA 18 will be out on October. But this is where it gets interesting. For some reason, EA want to make these players come back into packs, um, which is very interesting because then you're thinking, well, footies are coming out as well, aren't they? And end of their SBCs. Why would they want to bring October cards back into the game? And that's where it gets interesting, boys, because these cards, are, well, my belief anyway, and what I've heard from other people, but that means they're going to be bringing scare cards back in, um, team of the tournament cards back in. It's going to be great because that means that them cards are coming back in for a reason. Now, of course, the only thing that's coming back on our FIFA is footies. So, and these end of the area SBCs. So, I believe that 
EA are going to be using these Halloween cards and all the best of October packs to get these footy cards and to get these uh, end of era SPC cards. Which is very interesting and that's where the coin method comes in. Now as you guys can see I've made investments here that are pretty much going to pay off. They're guaranteed to make profit. Like it's impossible for me to lose coins. Um, well I say guaranteed to make profit. It's impossible for me to lose coins. As you can see each Telesca I bought I bought it for 13,000 coins. Now, when you're watching this video, it might have gone up a bit if the heart for these players has right has wrote, right, what? If the heart for these players has gone up, their prices might have gone up a bit. So you can still get Taliska for 14k, right? So that that's really not a massive loss if you think about it that way. It looks like a lot of people have been buying him though, as his price has rise. Another one that I bought is Den Docker. He's an 86 card, which is even better. And I think I bought it for around 15k. So he has, I mean, he's 19, 19. He has got. He's also gone up quite a bit. But like I said, it's not too It's not too late to make these investments. So I bought for 14k, and he's already already gone up. I mean, I could sell it for a profit right now. But you know, good old me, just too greedy, aren't I? And then I've gone and bought Syracuse as well for 15k. He's already gone up to 18. So you guys are missing out, man. You need to get on this right now before it's too late. So you know, I bought around nine of these. I mean, I probably should have invested a bit more. But basically, what I'm saying, guys, is these cards are going to be used. 100% are going to be used in either the footy SBCs or the end of the era SBCs just because EA would have no other reason to bring these cards back into the game at all apart from that which is very interesting but yeah like I said it's not too late to make these investments make sure you go and do it before it is too late and before you know till my balls wait oh what else rise of late what stop so yeah my opinion always buy the ones that are high rated because the high rated ones will always go will always have a high value especially because the high rated ones will have to be used for the SBC if the SBC has a high rated, if you get what I mean. So uh, Den Docker is a great investment. If you can pick them up for around 19k, I mean there's one 19k there, I probably will buy it for 19k. For an 86 rated, um, I believe that's worth it. And he will definitely probably go out to around the 30-35k mark minimum, in my opinion. That's if he is used. But of course, don't just invest in team of tournament players. Just in case they're not used, go pick up some Syracuse, go get some foot birthday players, make sure they're high rated. And uh, what's the other one? Oh yeah, Halloween players. If any, if any, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Halloween players are more valuable. But if there are any about for cheap, get your hands on them and invest in them. The main reason why these ones are good though is because Taliska, even if he, his value does go down, he's never going to go lower than 10k. And I paid 13. So it's minimum risk, maximum reward. That, that's what I see in my eyes. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're going to go and invest some coins, you know, because you know, I, I want you guys to make coins. That's what I'm here for. Uh, let me know if, let me know what you've invested in the comment section. Let me know if you've got any more trading methods or coin methods in the comment section as well. Because if you have, I'll share them with everyone. But honestly, thank you so much for the support, guys. 36,000 36, subscribers is insane. I love you guys. I love all of you. Um, and yeah, I guess, let me know. Let me know if you've invested in anyone. I want to know. Thanks for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.